high table as i would call it mm. okay fair enough sir good points let's also rope in uh, dr uh, shrimati kesan into this uh, dr kesan well you know the excitement around this mission is obviously palpable but uh, what does this do to uh, you know the plethora of private investment that we have seen in indian uh, space initiatives well it's a good question uh, absolutely thrilled and uh, once again congratulations to all the astro scientists and uh, super thrilled about shubhanshu shukla's coming back now with regards to the investments and everything i think uh, you know the deep tech industry was not uh, you know taken seriously for quite some time but the sequential growth i think has been phenomenal uh, for the last 10 years i mean every step that we have taken has been phenomenally rewarding with the space economy growth uh, you know due to the rise of uh, satellites that we've been launching international foreign satellites that we have been launching from our land so i think these are all a growth i have to tell you and uh, with regards to vyomitra i think fabulous because uh, here i would uh, you know apart from the space economy and funding and everything here i would like to add uh, the uh, uh, woman quotient here you know because um, many a times or rather uh the very first announcement our honorable prime minister had made with regards to selecting the gaganyatris he mentioned that there will be a woman traveler too but we didn't know it was real mitra <laughs> so we're really looking for a real astronaut you know a woman astronaut to be going up because you all know that i work and uh, for the female children and uh, so i would love to advocate that here too all right fair enough uh, and 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 mr ghosh one last question before we wrap up what's next for india we obviously want to have our own version of uh, you know uh, a space sta- 